guys. Oh my God. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Bro, it's time. I swear to God, it's time. And I didn't know it was time. Yesterday, I was just, you know, doing my regular daily to daily day. Damn, I'm stuttering this shit. I was doing my regular daily stuff. I'm chilling. I'm like, damn, it's boring today. And then I got on Netflix and I saw that the new Baki season is out. Oh my God. Today, I'm about to talk to y'all about one of the hardest yet most zesty ass arcs in Baki that I have seen to date. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I read the manga. So I've been waiting on this day. Today we are here to talk about Pickle and how he violated everyone in Baki. This Pickle is different. And Netflix decided that they were going to split everything up into two parts. So today I'm only going to be able to cover the first 10 episodes. But that just means da, 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 white gold. Nick, if you don't like that shit, bro, I'm not going to cap. We need at least 8,000 likes so I can do part two when that drop. And if I don't get them 8,000 likes, I'm still going to drop that shit. You found me. I'm just saying. But anyways, let's go. So first and foremost, I got to start off with this man, Pickle. I got to explain to y'all what Pickle is. This is not Pickle Rick. This is not no Rick and Morty shit. This is not no salted vegetable, bro. No, this is a pure, unadulterated man, a Neanderthal, a caveman. Y'all seen them Geico commercials? They made those niggas after this nigga. Bro, this guy Pickle is different. So Pickle is somebody that came from a time where there were dinosaurs. Now, real quick science lesson. Dinosaurs were alive millions and millions and millions of years before humans were. And for those of you that are religious and don't believe in evolution, I'm going to keep you guys out of this conversation because that has nothing to do with you. I'm not going to talk bad about your religion. However, I'm not about to act like science doesn't exist. Now, dinosaurs and man never cross paths, but in this fiction, in this timeline of Baki, this nigga Pickle was fighting dinosaurs. I'm talking T-Rexes, Brachiosauruses. I'm talking Stephalodons, Bechalodons, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> This man was fighting huge ass dinosaurs, bro, with his bare hands. And look at his toenails. This motherfucker need a Manny and a Petty, I'm just saying. So Pickle is in the air, though. He's very powerful. That's all you need to know. These dumbass dudes decided to unthaw him in a dead T-Rex body, which to me is insane. Because why would you unthaw a man that was seen fighting, fist fighting, that is, a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex? Bro was out here fighting the Zord of the Red Ranger and y'all unthawed him? This scientist right here is an asshole. Look at this little dweeb ass dude with glasses out here looking like white Steve Urkel. You gonna let this man out of this ice prison he was in? And that was your first mistake. Look at him, shaking, trembling. Bro, this man woke up and he got to straight business. He was hungry, he wanted to eat. He wanted food. And that is all that this man cares about. He treats regular fights as meal opportunities. He goes to hoods to scrap with people and then he eats them. That is what this dude does. Look at this shit right here. Oh my God. Uh, uh, what the fuck do we do? Why do we unfreeze this guy? I, oh fuck it, bro. I don't know what to do, bro. Okay, 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 I know what I'll do. If there's a gun in my drawer, I'll get the gun out. It's a Glock 9 with an extended clip and a, and, and a green dot. Oh fuck, someone took the monkey nuts from me. They left me with this dumbass gun. Oh shit, this pea shooter's not gonna do anything. No, 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 no. What, what do you mean? What, what, is, what does that mean, bro? What does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Your breath is really hot right now. I have some five gum in, in my pocket. Oh, let me. Oh, okay, I won't reach for it. I'm gonna have to shoot this guy. Do I, do I shoot him? And right here, this guy puts four. No, wait, one. Three holes in this guy, bro. Straight point blank range shoots three holes in this dude pickle. I mean, flesh. And it doesn't penetrate his abs, bro. This dude got the abs of Channing Tatum or something. This motherfucker. Yo, pause on that. This dude can't get shot. Now, I'm not going to lie, if he had a 50 cal, bro, and it was point blank range and you shot him in the head, that probably would have worked. I'm not going to lie. But this man was out here with this pea shooter doing no damage. I'm not going to lie. I felt bad for him at first, but then I started thinking about it. And I was like, mm, no, you're a dumbass. You shouldn't have unfrozen him anyway. After this, this man Pickle runs rampant, starts throwing police officer cars everywhere. Look at this dude, he's throwing cars. 
Bro, you need to bring the Avengers in for this nigga, bro. Bring the Hawk in for this motherfucker. If somebody got to fight him that's a superhero because there's no way that we're about to stop a guy that is throwing casually, I may add, cars. No! This motherfucker get bored and he throw cars like he's playing with Hot Wheels. That is not somebody you need to be scrapping. So what happens after this, you may ask? Well, you know, it's Baki. So just like any other natural season of Baki, big guy comes, he's strong. Everybody in the series wants a piece of this dude. And I mean that in the most yeah, zesty oh way God. possible. They be having full blown crushes on him. First, we gotta talk about Retsu. This man Retsu had a crush on this dude to the point he was going and talking to his homies about him. Him and Baki had a whole sit down about this nigga. Baki, I am in love. What, what you mean you in love? Baki, I, I saw him. Saw who, bro, what are you talking about? Did you go to that Usher concert? Man, ever since he danced on Kiki Palmer, I No, been... no, no, not, not Usher. Pickle. Pickle? You talking about, about the caveman? Oh, oh my, my God. God. What, what, the what the fuck? Why are you falling in love with a fucking- <sighs> Calm down, Baki, because this dude clearly done slipped and bumped his head. I don't know why Steven Seagal Ponytail is in love with this guy, and that's not my business. That's not my business. Baki, listen. First of all, I can hear your thoughts. I, I, I am gay, but that's besides the point. What I am trying to say is, I'm in love. I- I need a piece of this guy. I have to fight him. There's just some fights you have to do, Baki. This is one of them. I'm sorry, but I won't fight you until I fight Pickle. What the fuck? So you're gonna turn me down? Yujiro Hanma's son for Pickle? Okay, so this motherfucker got me fucked up, bro. I, 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 I see that I'm gonna have to fight this dude eventually, but I'm gonna let you fight him first and get your ass beat since that's what you wanna do. Fuck out of here, bro. Stupid ass ponytail and shit. Thank you for Steven Skull and shit. Hey, I heard that. Go ahead, motherfucker. Now, after this, Ratsu does some of the most zesty shit that I've seen in this series thus far. But before that, let's rewind a little bit. And talk about how this man Pickle showed up with armed military bodyguards, basically. And he's walking through the, uh, what seems to be a mall, an airport. I don't know what the fuck. I, I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. He's walking through this place, and this dude got... I ain't gonna lie, he got some fly ass clothes on. I ain't gonna hold you. This man was out here looking all right and all that. But they got this dude on the news. And I'm thinking to myself, what could possibly happen? They're just walking. There's no problem with that. And then the news broadcast picked this up. <laughs> what? Uh, boss, I think you're saying he wants to stop by the McDonald's in the food court. Motherfucker, you just wanna stop by McDonald's. I mean, yeah, but come on, it's Monday. I want a Big Mac. Motherfucker, they don't even do daily specials no more. Were you born in the 70s? Yes. God damn it. Breaking news. We bring you a very, very crazy, crazy event right now. There is a caveman walking through this airport. And Jesus Christ, look at this dude towering over six feet. Hey, hey, hey wait a minute. Six feet? Not even that tall. tall. Motherfucker, we're Asian. Oh, 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 all right, my fault. And I just can't help but see that this this is crazy, guys. We have a true dinosaur time human being just walking around. And wait, wait a minute, he seems to be is he? Hey, someone might want to go over there. I think he's assaulting a woman. Is is he trying to raise her up? That's what the kids say, right? And at this moment, I'm thinking to myself, why is he grabbing this woman like this? And they don't show it on screen, but. <clears throat> This nigga great her, bro. Oh my god. If you're a channel original, then you should understand that I did a video on Redo of Healer and I used the word grape because, you know, I don't want to say the actual word. But you know, grape, when you force someone to do something that they don't want to do, you feel me, in, in the sexual way. That is what he did to this woman. Someone please stop him. Bro, it was four grown men punching this nigga trying to get him off, and he still just did what he wanted to. They talking about he from a primitive time, and that they, 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 they do things differently back then. Motherfucker, we not excusing this. I need somebody to put hands and feet on him expeditiously because there ain't no way matter of fact I, I, I do got a part three of that prison video coming up this man pickle might be on that list i ain't gonna cap but after seeing this monstrosity on the news i realized that this man pickle is a demon a pure unadulterated menace and he needs to be stopped this motherfucker don't got black forces he got black tims on he is a problem but you know what else is a true problem the fact that we're about halfway through this video and uh, uh, editor what haven't they done yet subscribe you motherfuckers need to subscribe what are you doing exactly hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you're a long time watcher just hasn't subscribed what is it what, what's holding you back what's holding you back do you, do you need do you need a couple dollars or something I, i'm just saying because motherfucker, how you gonna watch this content all the time and i hit subscribe 
not click the post notifications you ain't even leave a like or comment that is out of pocket i'm out here working day after day i'm dropping video after video and y'all bitch ass nick <clears throat> sorry about that i got carried away um duaji will you please inform them really quick what happens if they do not subscribe to the channel look i want you guys to know that i'm not an idiot last video i said if you didn't subscribe your bitch will get taken and what did you guys not do subscribe look you're still not subscribed so we're gonna take it up a notch you obviously don't care about your girl getting taken Guess what? Next up is your auntie. Yeah, you heard me right. Me and my nigga Sensei is gonna take everybody who's watching this video right now not subscribes aunties on dates. And I'm not gonna lie, you don't wanna know what me and my nigga Sensei be doing on the first date. Oh, and on top of that, you'll be a bitch. So if you sat through all of that and you're still not subscribed, you know where you are. You heard him, you're a bitch. Now, back to the video. Ratsu sneaks in to meet this guy. And this is when I knew that he was a true zesty ass dude. Because what do you mean you're sneaking in somewhere to have a physical bout with a grown ass man? And not only him, but nine other combatants snuck in with the same idea, bro. Katsumi is there. I, I think that's how you say his name. And, and that's Dopo Orochi's son. And I'm not going to cap to you. The way that this man, Yujiro, really had these Nick looking dumb in here is a spectacle. This man, Yujiro, walked in and started talking crazy to him. Oh! What's up with y'all ugly ass nigga? Hey, what's good with y'all, man? Y'all out here looking like the winning fighters on the championship ugly team, ain't you? Hey, oh, that's Kasumi. What's up, bro? Uh, what's good, Yujiro? Hey, man, nothing. Just chilling, observing that you're a bitch. How you gonna be out here? Don't you think your dad gonna fuck with you? You thinking to yourself, man, if I just do a little bit, you know, you know, I, if I don't die, he'll look up to me. He'll, he'll respect me. No, man, you motherfucker, you won't get folded in this bitch. I don't even know why you here. Everybody here smelled a fear on you, boy. I don't know if that's fear or the fact that you shit yourself already. <laughs> oh, yeah, you definitely had a bowel movement. Oh, oh, my God. What, you need some baby wipes? <laughs> hey, look, man, I'm about to go see what's up with him. All of y'all, chill out here, you feel me? And watch how a real man handles a situation. Look at these bitches out here, man. This shit don't make no damn sense. And this man, Yujiro, walks through what seems to be... What is... Did he walk through glass? And then it snapped back in place like it never broke... Bro, I don't know how this man, Yujiro, did this. He be breaking the laws of physics every time. But him and this goddamn dude, Pickle, shared a fist bump that was magnificent. These niggas touch fist and you just see glowing light like you're about to go see Jesus. I don't know what the fuck was going on in there, but they clearly have superpowers. I'm just saying. Now, after this fist bump happens and Yujiro realizes that this man is a goddamn menace, I mean, a goddamn physical specimen he's like oh okay and he just leaves i don't know what's more crazy the fact that yujiro did all of this and just dipped like he, this dude wasn't even a challenge to him but the fact that when he came in he had three guards three grown ass men beating each other up oh yeah i forgot to mention that to you guys he had three grown ass guards punching on each other this motherfucker got the force or something yo he jedi mantra them i don't know how he did that shit anyway that's besides the point we are now at red suit versus pickle the most embarrassing fight ever bro i'm not gonna lie all of these fights are low-key embarrassing to me because pickle destroyed everybody the only one that kind of put up a fight was jack a little bit but even that was embarrassing and we'll get to that so this man retsu wanted to bring in the four thousand and first four thousand and i stutter over that a year of kung fu because there's four thousand years of kung fu da, da, da. shout out steven cigar this motherfucker can't do anything besides get punished bro he got in here doing all these dumbass fancy moves and it didn't mean a damn thing bro this dude pickle slapped him into a wall and he knew at that instant oh yeah i don't fucked up <sighs> i'm so ready to fight <sighs> i keep anticipating this my body is swelling my my loins <sighs> hey what the fuck balls Sh shut up <laughs> What are you what are you talking about? Does anybody speak caveman? Um he said that your ponytail reminds him of Steven Seagal and that you're not fooling anyone. We all know you're gay. What motherfucker? Hey, Alright. Alright. How do you like this? And this dude smacks him dead into a wall, bro. Thank God he had his guard up. I'm not gonna lie, he might have died. 
Now, after this, I thought for a minute that Retsu was actually putting that pain in because he was hitting this dude with all types of combos. I ain't gonna lie, the tactics that he was using, the strategy, the, 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 the maneuvers, they were actually doing something. I'm like, okay, Retsu, you out here fucking this dude up. Retsu even thought himself that he had this dude's brain rattling. Then we learned something very important uh, about this dude. And I can't lie to you, it's kind of scary. Basically, he has the spinal cord and neck of uh, what would be like, I don't know, an oxen or something. And what I mean by that is you can't really give him a concussion, can't really rattle his brain with normal techniques. Uh, we learned this later when Jack Hanuma, the fucking PED specimen he is, punches him with all he has and he eats it. And you know, once we learn that, I pretty much thought that this dude was unstoppable. Because I don't know if you guys, you know, watch Baki or anything, but they usually be making niggas pass out because they're rattling their brain. But this dude sees everybody as a meal and he can't be rattled. Bro, this dude took a big ass chunk out of Retsu like he was a poor boy. He literally bit his shoulder while crying. Ain't no way that this motherfucker is eating him and crying at the same time. Bro, I don't know why he's crying, bro. That must have been a good ass meal. I have never ate a meal and cried, but I need to. But after this, it was all downhill, bro. It was so bad that Retsu started using a windmill attack on him. He started fighting like a zesty nigga at an Atlanta club. Bro was throwing windmills. windmills. Do all types of skills out the window. Completely evaporated his knowledge of Kung Fu and started trying to hit him with anything he could. This is embarrassing. Oh, this motherfucker think he nice, huh? He think that you're gonna beat me? That ain't Retsu. That's that name my father gave me. My mother gave me. Motherfucker, I'm about to eat your ass. I swear to God. What the fuck did you say? He, he said, said shut, shut your, your crying, crying ass, ass up. up. Oh, oh, the fuck are you, bitch? <laughs> and this was embarrassing, bro. He started punching this dude, and this man was confused. Pickle was standing there like, run, 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 run. And honestly, I could translate that as, oh, what, what the fuck, fuck is going on with this nigga, nigga guy? Guy? It was purely embarrassing, bro. Very embarrassing. But the most embarrassing thing about this is once this man Retsu started actually fighting back and using his Kung Fu, after having a Susano moment where his inner self was talking to him, motherfucker out here, you think you, uh, she high or something? Uh, anyways, he actually sees Retsu as a formidable opponent into a quadruped like position where he's on all fours and then launches at this dude and sends, sends him, him flying, flying through a hallway. Bro, I've never seen someone fly like that in Baki, bro. He sent the dude flying at what seems to be goddamn light speed or something. This motherfucker sent him into a wall. He is a physical specimen. This is the move he used to use on T-Rexes. So obviously Retsu did not want that smoke. I thought that it wasn't gonna get any worse than this. I'm like, all right, he beat Retsu up. This is where Baki will fight him. It'll be like four or five episodes. Nah, that's definitely not happening. You know what did happen though? This man Katsumi was up next and thought that he could fight him. Even though Yujiro already told you you're a bitch. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Kasumi actually did his thing. He came back, reignited, revived, just to get folded by this man Pickle. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. This man Pickle was out here really destroying shit. After he beat Retsu up, by the way, forgot to mention this a minute ago, but um, he, he ate, ate his, his leg. leg. Yeah, this motherfucker Retsu has a peg leg now. This motherfucker out here looking like Patsy the Pirate on some shit. Bro is out here walking around with a handicap sticker on. Bro was out here looking like the dude with the peg leg and family guy. No, 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 no. not you, Seamus. Ah, sea turds. Look at this dude's leg. Bro, I couldn't even believe what I saw, but I was like, they made this man Retsu a goddamn paraplegic. They made this man an amputee, bro, what the fuck? Guess who else was an amputee? Yep, that's right, Katsumi. Bro, he beat the shit out of this nigga too. Bro, they're fighting in a damn arena, bro. Bro out here thinking that he was about to use this damn whip punch and that it was going to be the thing that saved him from getting pounced on. Like he's a gazelle to a lion. And yet, that's not what happened. What did happen was this man Katsumi got punished. At some point in the fight, he decided that he was going to use his whip punch against Pickle when he launched at him. And then this happened. Man, man fuck this shit, Kurt. Who has been beating my ass? Wait a minute, is he? Oh shit, he's in that pouncing position again. Oh, that's when he sent Retsu through the hallway. Okay, all right, it's time. I gotta use this whip punch. I have been training my bones, my muscles for this moment. At mock speed, I'm about to hit this nigga. And when I do, I'ma win the fight. 
I got this. <laughs> what the fuck did he say? He said he's about to hit you with the spear that Edge be using in WWE. What, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nah. And this dude launches at him, bro. And in that moment, he uses the whip punch and hits him. And then we see this dude laying down and we're like, oh my God, he actually did it. And then Katsumi realized that his fucking whip punch was not made out of concrete bones. They're regular bones, they're regular flesh. Look, Look at this nigga's hand. hand. Look at his arm right now, bro. It is busted open. He had to use a fucking belt that he had on to make a tourniquet so he didn't bleed out. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Then he gonna walk over to this man Pickle like he won the fight, put his hand in the air like he really did something. Everybody's standing around like, um, did he, did he win? win? I, 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 I think he did win. Wait, 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 I think he did. Oh, that motherfucker did win. Oh, shit. Yeah. And right before we thought this motherfucker did win, they spoke too soon, bro. This motherfucker went to sleep because he saw this man as a meal. Once he defeats somebody, he just wants to conserve energy because there's no point in fighting something that's already dead. He saw this man Katsumi as being dead, bro. So what did Katsumi do? He let this nigga eat his arm. Bro, you know you got completely bitch when you give up a limb to a dude, bro. And then his dad showed up and wouldn't even let him tranquilize the guy. Thank God this man Pickle has his humanity and didn't completely destroy this dude and eat him whole. Pause on that, by the way, that's crazy. But it, it, they literally let this man's arm get eaten out. Now he's an amputee too. This nigga is Shanks. This nigga is Mega Man now. Bro, I couldn't even believe that shit. This man was just out here completely trying to eat people. This shit was out of pocket. Do you know what was more out of pocket? Him and Jack Hanma's fight. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, this shit is where everything got even more zesty. Because this man Jack Hanma thought, yo, I ain't gonna lie. When I fight this nigga, cuz, I'm gonna have a bite off. Hey, yo, a, a bite, bite off. off. Bro, I knew that this shit was mad zesty when this dude Jack Kama shows up to fight him. Punches him with all he got. Realizes that it didn't do anything to him. And his next thought wasn't, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to leave. It was, all right, I ain't gonna hold you. I like this nigga teeth. I'm about to have a mouth to mouth fight with him. Bro, Baki was on the phone flabbergasted. What you mean? He in there doing what? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This motherfucker over here kissing him mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. My brother. Oh, nah. Oh, this is embarrassing. This is devastating, man. This man, Hadayama over there talking to him like, hey, what happened, God? Oh, my God. Bro, this dude, Jack Hanama, was having a mouth off with a grown Neanderthal. Look at this shit. Bro, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, bro, they calling him Jack Hammer because he hammering dudes. I'm just saying. Because that ain't no way you don't took all these PDs and then changed your whole body structure so you can have a mouth-to-mouth -mouth goddamn resuscitation fight against another grown man just to get your face ripped off. Yeah, that's right. This man Pickle ripped his whole face off. Look, Look at this motherfucking face. God, God damn. damn. Bro, you Bro, out you here, here looking like them joints they use in science class. class. You know them joints in the book, yo, the human anatomy. That's what your face look like right now. Cause what the fuck? Bro, you out here looking like fresh meat. Like you just came out of a deli section. Like somebody went to the counter like, hey, yo, can I get two pounds of that jackhammer? <laughs> yo, pause on that two pounds of that jackhammer. <laughs> yo, that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Who's more zesty, me or this show? Nah, it's this show, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, yo, this man Jack, after realizing that his face is ripped off, starts fighting him back as much as he can. After completely catching this man Pickle's spear like he's Edge or Goldberg or something, and he throws this dude 60 feet, hold on, what the narrator said, 65 feet into the damn arena, everybody is watching and thinking that Jack is actually gonna win this fight. They're like, hold on, this nigga Jack is actually putting that pain in. Bro was talking to himself in an inner dialogue. Yeah, what you think about humankind now? We evolved, huh? It's different on this side, ain't it, bitch ass nigga? Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker getting turned on while losing. I'm not gonna lie, cause he was doing all that for nothing. He then bites this dude's ear off. Yo, Pickle, you good? <laughs> but what'd he say? He said, he said nah, nah, nigga, I'm not good. good. This, this nigga, nigga bit, bit my, my ear off. off. Bro, bro, think he Mike Tyson? Tyson? Bro, this dude Jack bit his ear, bro, and spit it in his hand. 
This put Pickle on high alert. At this point, he was not letting Jack do nothing to him. He was dodging this nigga like a damn cat. I am not gonna lie, his reflexes and speed are unfathomable. Cause what the fuck, where did he go? Bro must have been moving at the speed of light or something, yo. He was going too fast. Bro was moving so fast, he had enough time to dodge Jack's hits and then springboard himself back to the same position? Oh nah, I'm not fighting anybody that's doing no shit like that. That's out of fucking pocket. Nah, that's out of orbit. So after Jack completely is unconscious, the little ass dude walk up to him and almost gets his eardrums clapped. I'm not gonna cap. And the last act of being a dickhead, this man Jack made it. So if this dude got any close to him, he could do the ultimate fuck you and put his fingers and his eardrums. But the little ass commissioner walked up so that didn't happen. And Jack went in a coma and then woke up to fight him again. But this time it was even more embarrassing. This dude Pickle was running from Jack and I was like, how the fuck is he running from a nigga he can beat up? And it's because he ain't never seen no enemy like this. But none of that mattered because as soon as he got close to Pickle, he knocks him the fuck out again. Bro, he hit this man Jack Kama into a complete cartwheel, bro. He hit this dude and he spun about 34 times. I'm not gonna lie. How the fuck did he spin like this? He treated him like a Beyblade. All of that just to get punished and wake up in the same hospital bed you were just at. That is insane. Cause nigga, why the fuck didn't you just give up the first time? The most embarrassing thing about this is when this man Pickle beat Jack up, he took him and hid him somewhere. He tied him up so he could eat him later. Like he was taking care of a meal that he was about to cherish. This man Jack got punished. I'm not gonna lie. How did you get beat up like this? Ain't no damn sense. R.I.P. huh? That motherfucker got dropped. We're finally here, y'all. Baki versus Pickle. Yeah, is what I would like to say, but if you don't get the 8,000 likes to get past the paywall, I'm not gonna talk about it. Make sure you subscribe or you're a bitch.